Nipple damage is never normal. You may experience nipple tenderness in the first few days after birth, but if you have extreme pinching, toe curling pain, or you're starting to notice damage to your nipples, something is not right. Do not keep pushing through. One of the main reasons why you may have nipple damage is from poor positioning, which leads to a poor latch. So uh, the most important way to position your baby is to have them tummy to tummy, their belly button touching your body with no gap or space between you and the baby, with their face coming straight to the breast and their cheeks and chin touching the breast. If they're turned one way or the other towards their shoulder, they're literally twisting your nipple in your mouth, which is not comfortable. So the first line of defense is make sure your baby's in a good close position to get a good deep latch. If you get a good deep latch every single time and they're still causing damage, they may have a tongue tie. A tongue tie is that little tissue under the tongue that connects the tongue to the floor of the mouth. This will not stretch out with time. It will not get better with time if it's truly tied. So if you're suspecting that there might be a tongue tie because you get a good position and a good deep latch every single time, make sure to reach out either to myself or to a qualified IBCLC lactation consultant to make sure that um, we're able to get that appropriately diagnosed and managed for you. Now, if you're already in the middle of it, if you already have nipple damage, then there's a couple different ways that you can heal that nipple. The best line of defense is catch it early and do moist wound healing. So putting your own breast milk on that, keeping breast milk on that nipple can really help heal. You can also use things like coconut oil. There's nipple balms, butters, and creams, and there's a lot on the market. The balms, butters, and creams really just help soothe and they can keep your nipple from sticking to your clothing, your bra, or a nursing pad. I do usually recommend if you have nipple damage to use the, the reusable washable nursing pads. They're much softer on your nipple and tend not to stick as much as the disposable nursing pads. If you now have mild to moderate damage, you can do something like an Epsom salt soak. So take your manual pump that you have. You would fill this with warm water and about two teaspoons to two tablespoons of Epsom salts. You'd flip it on and you suction it to your nipple so that your nipple is actually in that Epsom salt soak, okay? So you can leave that on for 10 to 15 minutes. It can be really soothing and you can do that multiple times a day. Um, another strategy is to do a saline soak. So I normally don't recommend the manual pump for a saline soak because you need a lot of saline to fill this, but you could take something like a medicine cup with some saline solution. You would dip your nipple in for no more than 20 seconds once a day. We don't want to overhydrate that nipple, but a saline soak can also be really soothing and healing for your nipples. If you have moderate to severe damage, one of the best products that I found are the silverette cups. Silverette cups are made with 925 sterling silver. They're antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral, antibacterial. And so they can be really soothing um, because they have anti-inflammatory properties to be able to heal that moderate to severe nipple damage. So what this does is after you feed, you literally just slip this into your bra onto your nipple and it will help heal your nipple really quite quickly. Um, so silverette cups are a great investment if you already have some damage. Again, you want to know why the damage is happening. Is it from something as simple as position and latch? Was it because your baby just came out really tense from being squeezed in, in your uterus and squeezed during labor and delivery? Or is there something else more major going on like a tongue tie that needs addressed? If you have any questions about why you have your nipple damage, make sure to reach out to either myself or another qualified IBCLC in your area. Now you know.